the legal aircraft carrier, Ryujo. The Imperial Japanese Navy carrier Ryujo was a unique, one-off hybrid of a cruiser hull with an aircraft carrier superstructure grafted into it, built in order to exploit a loophole in the original Washington Naval Treaty that stated ships under 10,000 tons wouldn't be counted against capital ship limits. The lightweight Ryujo was designed to displace only 8,000 tons and thus not be counted against Imperial Japan's treaty limits. In today's video, we will be showing you the illegal aircraft carrier Ryujo. Without further ado, let's begin. The ship suffered serious damage in the 1934 Fourth Fleet incident, where the Imperial Navy's fleet of that name sailed into the teeth of a typhoon, losing several ships and sustaining serious damage in the process. This lesson served Ryujo well, her structure was strengthened, and she went on to serve off China during the China Incident. Because she wasn't as seaworthy as her larger cousins, who later made up the Kido Butai, she found herself assigned to support duties, which made better use of her strength than the assignment to the Kido Butai. 1943, USN recognition slide of the Ryujo. Ryujo had been sunk the year before, but was still carried on this document. In many ways, Ryujo was a forerunner of the later American CVL class of light carriers. With cruiser hulls and a similarly sized air group, both types provided useful auxiliaries to their larger cousins. A light carrier can stand in for a regular carrier in areas where the full strength of a regular carrier air group isn't necessary, a lesson the United States Navy is taking to heart today as it begins equipping its LHD amphibious assault ships as new proto-CVLs with enhanced marine F-35B air wings. These modern ships can serve a useful role in performing a mission set similar to that of Ryujo during the first nine months of the Second World War. Ryujo launched the first Imperial Japanese Navy airstrike on U.S. forces in the Philippines on December 8, 1941, finding the seaplane tender USS William B. Preston at Davao Gulf at 0800. Her air group comprised Mitsubishi 85M2 fighters and Nakajima B5N1 carrier attack aircraft, second line equipment, but still useful in light of her secondary support role. For Imperial Navy amphibious forces, Ryujo managed to lose one of each in its first strike, but managed to destroy two U.S. Navy PBY-4s, which had remained beyond near Preston when word of the outbreak of war had been received. Aside from that sad historic first, Ryujo subsequently covered Imperial Japanese Navy landings in the Gulf of Davao before going on to support further operations during Imperial Japan's conquest of the Dutch East Indies. During these operations, she destroyed the wreck of the Dutch destroyer Van Ghent, which had run aground a few days prior. In the wake of the Battle of Java Sea, Ryujo chased remnants of Allied warships, attempting to escape south of the Malay barrier to Ceylon and Australia, catching HMS Exeter and assisting in her sinking. Altogether, the Malay force consisting of Ryujo, six cruisers, and four destroyers sank 19 ships totaling almost 100,000 gross registered tons before reuniting on April 7th and arriving at Singapore on April 11th. Ryujo then teamed up with the converted ocean liner carrier Junyo to form Carrier Division 4 which was sent on Yamamoto's diversion to the Aleutian Islands. Much has been written about how valuable those extra carriers would have been at Midway, but their speeds and sea-keeping ability weren't on the same level, and in this case, they probably were better utilized as the diversion force they were meant to be. Ryujo's air group was also upgraded to include Zeros, a mixed blessing for Imperial Japan as her Alaska assignment would prove. According to Wikipedia, at dawn on June 3rd, she launched nine 
B-5 ends, escorted by six Zeros, to attack Dutch Harbor on Unalaska Island. One B-5N crashed on takeoff, but six of the B-5Ns and all of the Zeros were able to make it through the bad weather, destroying two PBYs and inflicting significant damage on the oil storage tanks and barracks. A second airstrike was launched later in the day to attack a group of destroyers discovered by aircraft from the first attack, but they failed to find the targets. The aircraft later dubbed the Accuten Zero remained largely intact and was later salvaged and test flown. On the following day, the two carriers launched another airstrike consisting of 15 Zeros, 11 D3As, and 6 B5Ns, which successfully bombed Dutch Harbor. Shortly after the aircraft was launched, the Americans attacked the carriers, but failed to inflict any damage. A Martin B-26 Marauder bomber and a PBY were shot down by Zeros, and a Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress bomber was shot down by Flak during the attack. Ryujo arrived back at Matsu Bay on June 24th and departed for the Aleutians four days later to cover the second reinforcement convoy, the Atu and Kiska Islands, and remained in the area until July 7th in case of an American counterattack. She arrived at Kure on July 13th for a refit and was transferred to Carrier Division 2 a day later. As can be seen, Ryujo managed to give a priceless gift to the American war effort, the Accuten Zero, which was salvaged and put through its paces as the first captured Zero to make it back to the continental USA. Nine of the Zeros strafed the airfield while the B-5Ns bombed it with 60 kilogram bombs to little effect. The Americans claimed to have shot down 19 aircrafts, but only three Zeros and three B-5Ns were lost, with another B-5N forced to crash land. Only three Wildcats were shot down in turn. Two more Zeros reinforced the patrol shortly after 1500, just in time to intercept two more searching Avengers, shooting down one more. In the meantime, the carrier USS Saratoga had launched an airstrike against the detached force in the early afternoon that consisted of 31 Douglas SPD Dauntlesses and eight Avengers, the long-range precluded fighter escort. They found the carrier shortly afterward and attacked. They hit Ryujo three times with 1,000-pound bombs and one torpedo. The torpedo hit flooded the starboard engine and boiler rooms. No aircraft from either Ryujo or Saratoga was shot down in the attack. The bomb hit set the carrier on fire, and she took on a list from the flooding caused by the torpedo hit. Ryujo turned north at 1408, but her list continued to increase after the fires were put out. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.